it from the corner. Plethora of old school five man. Not so sure the best guards in the country. building year for Kennesaw State. system. They're fun to watch, no doubt about that. Should be an interesting team once conference play begins. Going to put up a fight. That was a big thing he was preaching to his group was what you can control is effort. You're not going to live with that. <laughs> if you're crazy, you'll live with it. I'm seeing all. Alex on the bench with those four fouls. Alexander off the inbound. Alexander, his first touch since 427 when he left in the first half. while he's just fine alexander pulls up needs some help Jefferson. so deep is it in high school he couldn't get open they would tell him remaining in the opening 20. watch the pick and pop with ballin by sean alexander three seconds he'll drive he'll hang can't hit back on the big miss with the size disadvantage if you're great really told us got to get sorted out in transition and build out to the three-point line right away is important in a game where the glass is going to reign supreme. Alexander slips on the floor minus Watson. Diallo is trying to call for it. Alexander against Hachimura. Comes the jump stop. They play Tennessee. They play against UNC at Chapel Hill. And four, knowing it's going to come across the weak side for a three. Alexander, who is 10 of 10 from the free throw line in that tournament. And they were generating some turnovers. 
turnovers early in this game. Alexander off balance in 19 minutes. What a difference a year makes. Alexander with the tip. Tyshawn Alexander. And the percentages will change. Alexander got his man in the air on the drive. They were taking to get that thing up, which was by design. Tyshawn Alexander projects as a 3 and D off guard with ever improving ball handling abilities. You can make a legitimate case that Alexander was the best guard defender in all of college basketball last season. He frequently bothered the other team's best guy and should be able to carry that into the next level. He's a guy who doesn't have the highest ceiling and he'll be 23 early in his first season, but he has the two baseline attributes you need to see the floor early and often in the league. It's been a long year plus watching and evaluating these guys and jumping back into his film, I think I've underrated him a bit. I think he goes in the mid to late second, but he's honestly worth consideration as high as the early second, though late first is probably too high for him. And you know I get around.